Okay, here we are back in League of Legends. Queued up, landed in the jungle, and I want to go tanky. We have our AP mid already on the field, so that's one less thing to worry about. We don't know who's going top, what the intent is or anything, so we'll see. So yeah, Evolution, they have Echo. I imagine that's probably going to be the tank Echo top rather than Echo jungle, but you never really know. Even though Darius recently got reworked, although now it's not so recently since the Juggernauts have been out probably for a nine months to eleven, I want to say, I still don't like him. <laughs> hey, Urgot's back, apparently. So Thresh, and now I have to answer, ask the big question. Is there a doctor in the house? Sadly... Toxic Dr. Mundo has this really lame splash. I'm not entirely sure what they were going for. I want to say some sort of Frankenstein thing since he's in a graveyard, but... It's just not working for me. I liked the original one, even if it was just like a palette swap or something. But yeah, we're gonna go Mr. Mundoverse. As for my mastery page, we are going for attack speed because I'm gonna start Machete. We want to expose weakness to amplify teammates' damage. I can sit in the middle of the team fight, damage enemies with my Cinder Hulk and my W to amplify this. The vampirism is kind of necessary to survive the jungle. It makes you much better off. Probably gonna go blue smite here, so I want a presser. And then everything here is self-explanatory. I hope inside is going to allow me to ghost more. Actually, I probably should have gone for swiftness here, but oh well. And then I want the max health thing, because Mundo's passive scales with max health, and technically so does his ult. Sadly, I don't think it affects his E. I don't know if that's an AD ratio or an HP. I have to check. But yeah, uh, the other reason to go for the vampirism on Mundo is that the only ratio he has that I remember is an AP ratio on his W. So if you get the AD, it will help you auto-attack a little bit, but you don't get any sort of skill synergy. And the AP is just the, uh, Burning Agony, that's what the W is called. So, one thing to watch out for here is Kha'Zix should be able to solo the dragon kind of easily. We're going to need to keep Vision there. Otherwise, hmm, Thunderlords, that could work. It's going to be tricky. And maybe Tank Echo mid? We have to look into ganking Gangplank. Darius can make that pirate's life so miserable if he can get ahead. Problem is, I think Ka clears a little bit more quickly than I do. I'm gonna start Machete, refillable potion. Probably gonna do the Golems, red buff, blue buff, top. See if we can get Gangplank. And from there, I just need to make sure that the dragon stays either warded or with the speed shrine up so we can see Kha'Zix sneak in. Okay, Jin is the last one to load. And I just noticed Kennen's packing tell. So the great news here is no one has Ignite to shut down my ult, I guess. I mean, Thrush is the only guy packing it. We are missing out on Exhaust as a result. That could hurt us, especially if that is an Assassin Echo, but if he's packing this, he's going to tank. There's no maybe about it. Unless you grab the wrong page, that is. Hmm. I guess one nice thing if he does go tank is... I don't need to go heavy in MR. My Spirit Visage would be more than enough, and I may even pass up on that. Wait a second, I decided to go refillable. Now, if you're wondering why I may not want Spirit Visage, is while it does increase all healing received, the thing is, Warmogs has been buffed so much that it is probably on the verge of replacing both the Banshees and the Spirit Visage for MR needs, unless you're up against a very heavy AP team. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. 
I think the Spirit Visage lost something between 15 to 25 MR, and then the Banshee lost health, so neither one are really in a good spot. Had I gone, we probably could have gotten her Flash. I'd have to throw my Cleaver. Sad part is this does have a damage cap against... I don't know why his is purple. Um, he might be level 6 or whatever. This does have a damage cap against monsters. Cap's at 300. I'm probably going to take that second help with the red buff because E, I think, is better. And yeah, that is an HP ratio. Minions have spawned. So if you're going to go Talisman, you start E. If you're going to go for the... Or wait, if you're going Machete, you go E. If you're going for W, you start with the Talisman. I really can't recommend the Talisman early on. Once you have your completed jungle item, it's a little bit of a different story, I guess. That's actually good enough. That was a pretty nice leash, so I'm going to be very healthy and I don't have to use my refillable potion just yet. Actually, let's get it ticking, so once this thing starts to wail into me. The one bad part about Mundo, I'd say, is that you do use health as your resource, so you will be kind of low in your clears early on. Gangplank mid. That's eh, cloud. We can technically afford to spare that. Nice. Now, without burning agony, I don't want to bother with that. Chickens are not worth the hassle until you can just AoE them into the ground. And there's the Thunderlord's proc. another point into this because it does increase the damage cap to monsters. One more. An ally has been slain. He does not have his red. And I need to get my health pot ticking. Now the bad news here is that I don't have my stun in order to get the uh, scuttle crab kind of easily. I can try to beat it down, but it's not really a sure thing. Uh, it's taking a little while. One more. And I think that gave me enough health to actually go ahead and take this. This should give me level 4. I can go back get my talisman. And I kind of want to... Actually... I'm going to take this one because... Yeah, that'll work. I'm running a presser, so I deal increased damage to slowed enemies. That way, instead of having to always land my cleaver, I can... Maybe like in a team fight, I can cleaver one guy, smite, slow the next guy, and... Then my stuff will deal bonus damage. Mundo's forte isn't really the early game. He's a moderate to weak ganker. The part where he shines is the late game team fights where he absorbs everything the enemy has to throw at him and kind of just laughs. <sighs> oh well. Uh, he only has 
has 15. Like, I don't know why he only has 15 AP. He should be running the natural talent mastery. I don't even know why Darius uh, Thrush is all the way on the top side. This is a recipe for disaster for Jin or Lucian, I mean. An enemy has been slain. Maybe I'm playing with a four-man pre-made, because that would make a little more sense. Hmm. I'm actually going to wander into Kaz, Jungle, or Gank, Gangplank, one of those two. We can do that. I was going to go back and get my cinder to speed this up. Actually, I'm going to turn that off. I don't think I have enough sustain. So, sadly, Echo's Flash should be coming up if it's not already up. I'm not going to be able to make anything up there happen. Yeah, I don't actually know what he's doing here. <laughs> Nothing like any tank Echo I've ever played against. I don't know if he was dancing on the body or teabagging or what. <laughs> Air hook kill. I can't say I've actually ever seen that one before. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm, kind of thought this was stolen. Wrong one. No. Yeah. Now I'm not going to use any big skills on this because my Q could very well kill it. 400 damage. Should be the green light for Kennen. <laughs> ah, he got a little too showboaty there. Let's grab that. That leaves me with enough to get this. One minute on dragon, and this is the fire, the big one. Get the scuttle crab here so we have vision control and a potential escape route when the time comes. We're not going for gangplank. Solo those have given enough time. Now I'm not too eager to pop my heal because I want the AD. on this back, but I'm going to rush towards the Spirit Visage. Kha'Zix does deal minor amounts of magic damage, so I'll have that. Echo is in the process of feeding, like no tomorrow. And the bad part about Ka is the single best reason why you'd want him here, I'd say, is probably for his dragon control. With this particular team comp, that is. Otherwise, you'd be better off going Fiddlesticks or some AP jungler. Now, how fast? 
else can I get over here? Flash, I'll take that. Lucian to that. Bingo, throw a lantern. Red buff there was amplifying my damage by the slow. By the way, now I'm at capped strength of the ages. We're ready to start unleashing some hell. No, my red buff just timed out. And I'm not going to come back without 600 gold, so I'm just going to go ahead and buy a ruby crystal here. in my inferno, GP. Grabbing that just in case Kha'Zix, or putting that there in case Kha'Zix leaps the wall to try to bypass a ward over there. Okay, one minute on drag. At this point, I might have been better off going for bounty hunter since I'm having some luck getting the kills. That way I don't have to worry about slowing them or anything. Come to Mundo. What's wrong with his items? Oh, two side stones. I'm actually gonna go this way, hoping he doesn't bypass Kennen. As he bypasses Kennen. An enemy has been slain. Stand behind me.
The dunk. Boom. <laughs> I'm kind of expecting that to make them throw in the towel. But anyway, at this point, I should have enough. No, I don't. Oh, that's right. Ancient Grudge deals 20% increased damage and for damage reduction against guys who have slain some dragons. I don't know what they're pinging for, but I need to go back. I need my boots. And as awesome as Warmogs is right now, I'm actually going to make progress towards Deadman's. One of the reasons why I want armor right now is in case we need to tower dive. I'm probably our best guy unless... Eh, he's a little bit better. He's got actually a chain vest. I'm running scaling armor yellows, so... Oh, there goes Darius. Showtime. So no water dragons this game. I don't think I've had a single water dragon spawn all day. <laughs> so I moved to try to shield Thresh. That's another nice thing about Mundo in this particular matchup. When it comes to meat shields, you're second to none. recently buffed those towers, so, yeah. Nothing there. Now, I want to push out the top. afraid that would happen. I have Ghost up and Boots of Swiftness. I should be able to piece out if need be. There go the heavy hands I spined it for. Even though I don't think they're going to be able to sneak out of their base anyway to get it. Okay, next up is Warmogs. Reju Bead is nice, gives you 50% base health regen. At this point, that's an additional 8 on top of everything else I have. So, yeah, 144 health regen. <laughs> Now I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt that he's going to make it in time, because otherwise I could have went there and actually absorbed it until he arrived. Looks like he's going to make it, although it's not going to be much of a way by the time he does. Okay, you got 
got another fight brewing. Aw, oh, man. Unfortunately, there really isn't much for us to do since we're not actually pushing in the lanes that need their towers taken out. Yeah, they're just playing Team Deathmatch. At this point, I'm better off focusing on the objectives. I'm gonna make sure I'm in position to take the dragon as soon as it spawns. I do less damage here, unfortunately. If we can take this fast enough, one more elemental dragon will spawn before the Elder does. We have a chance to get another... Infernal. Or potentially a second Earth, since I may need some help just trying to solo towers. to actually move top to join up with Darius. this anymore so I don't need it. Actually I'd rather go with this combo. Need more CDR so I can ult more. I think this might still be a good final item for Mundo. Come to Mundo. 166 health regen, and that's without the Warmogs. Warmogs is going to make it much, much worse.
sadly I'm facing a way so they can't really appreciate my dance, but we look at the sentiment. No key fragment or anything, unfortunately. Only an A+. Not really surprising since I wasn't really gearing for damage. It's a little surprising Darius of all people was the top. Damage taken, of course that's going to be me because I'm Mundo. Yep. Uh, he's talking about he's going towards rank a level 7 mastery. But yeah, Mundo in the jungle. This is one of the guys I'm looking forward to to use in ranked. Unfortunately, I didn't get to use the Warmongs here, which should have made my regen really, really ridiculous. I might have been better off getting the Warmogs instead of the Deadmans, and then getting Deadmans third. And I don't remember how much health I had at the very end, but I could get even more if I actually finished the Warmogs, and it'd be really hard to take me down without percent HP damage. You don't see a Blade of the Room King, and I don't... Well, Jin hasn't executed, that's the next best thing, but yeah. This team comp wasn't really prepared to deal with a Mundo, and as such, I was a menace when I could just sit there and absorb whatever they threw. But anyway, Mundo in the jungle for you guys. I'm the Hero of Light, thanks for watching, and goodbye.